Hello there, Josh Wright here from Racing to Profit. Um, I hope you're doing well. I hope your week has started well. I hope you had a great weekend. I will try and keep this video brief. Um, the aim of it is to discuss my members club and to offer you an invite. I should say I hope you can see and hear me clearly in the bottom right hand corner. Um, if you haven't seen me before yet, that's me, Josh. Uh, I am the architect, I suppose, for want of a better phrase, of Racing the Profit and the Racing the Profit Members Club, um, which I'd like to think that is an enjoyable and engaging way to enjoy the sport of kings and, of course, uh, profitable, uh, the holy trinity, I suppose. Um, but the aim of this video is for me to demonstrate that, I suppose, and try and enthuse you uh, to take... Uh, the plunge, I suppose, and give it a go by joining my winter season ticket, which I'll move on uh, in, well, I'll move on to in a moment, I should say, if I just put my teeth back in. Um, if I keep looking down, it is because I'm going to keep an eye on the clock, uh, because any long-suffering watchers of my videos know I can drone on, but there is, of course, some important things I need to cover, um, because what I do uh, within the members club and what I have to offer you is very very different to anything you might have come across before it's not just a tipping service it's not just systems it's not just a kind of detached uh, lonely way I suppose to enjoy horse racing um, it's none of those things really it's a combination I suppose of all of them but a enjoyable kind of community of racing fans uh, which I'm inviting you to be part of um, but I will move on to this side which, slide, which I've just clicked through, uh, which is how I lost two and a half grand, um, well, 2,650 uh, to be precise, age 18. Uh, what a joyous, joyous year that was in my first year at university. Um, but more importantly, what did I learn? Um, for those of you who kind of read uh, one of my welcome introductory emails, um, you will have read the story about how I lost that money, but I'll keep it brief. I... Um, joined a tipping service. I went to Aintree. I'm from a small town called Mildenhall near Newmarket originally. Uh, I'm a Liverpool football fan for my sins um, for various reasons, but that got me interested in coming to Liverpool as a city to study. I came to visit probably in what, mid-2006, fell in love with the city a bit. It was, going on, uh, um, it was going under a load of reconstruction, various different other things, and it looked like it would be an exciting place to be. And as I talk to you now, uh, 10, 11, 11 years later, the time flies by, um, I still haven't left the city of Liverpool. Um, but anyway, I visited Aintree in October of 2007. Monet's garden was running. He beat Corto Star um, in what is uh, the race that's now named after Monet's garden. Rest in peace, the old boy. Um, that got me interested initially, actually, in the betting and the gambling. And I was a bit of a greedy sod. I was naive. I Googled. I wanted to win a load of money. Um, I was a student. I was thinking I wouldn't have much. Um, I had even less <laughs> after this experience. Um, but yes, I did something that maybe some of you uh, have done before. I signed up to a tipping service. It didn't go very well. That cost 650 quid uh, for a year's access. I gave myself a 100-point bank, but I made the mistake of diving in at £20 a point. Um, and the 100-point bank went over about eight, eight nine months. Um, and every time, every point lost, I'm thinking, well, they're going to hit a winning one at some point. I'm going to get all that money back. Um, I didn't. Uh, so that was that, really. That was my first very bad experience. I suppose I got that out of the way early. Um, but everything that happened during that year and how awful that experience was, I suppose, um, set me on my way to where I am now. Uh, and importantly, with any experience in life, especially a negative one, it's important to try and learn the lessons uh, which I tried to do. Um, so speaking to you kind of 10 years after that bad experience in an amount of time that seems to have flown by, um, I've learned a few things. And I'm still learning, of course, every day because the great thing about horse racing is that it's bloody complicated. You're never fully on top of it. You're always making the odd mistake. But generally, thankfully, touch wood, uh, the picture is a positive one now. So I've learned it is possible to win on the horses long term. Um, but you can't do what I did and be greedy. You can't uh, be impatient. You can't dive in betting an amount of money which you can ill afford to lose. I maxed out two overdrafts there. I think I spent a bursary as well. Um, and it did take me about three, four years to kind of pay those off and get out of them. Um, so don't do that. Whatever approach you take, even 
If come the end of the, this video, God forbid you are not infused to give my members club a go, there is a 60 day money back guarantee as well, but more on that later. Um, do take that lesson away if you haven't already. Be patient, start small, build up over time. And link to that, and this is something which I kind of learned after that bad experience where my initial drive was greed, it was, was what it was if I'm being blunt, um, a love for the sport is essential. Uh, I now love the animals, the people, uh, the challenge and the puzzle and that enjoyment and excitement I suppose around those different things is what, well, and the sport is what drives me every day to try and improve and try and get better and that's what makes you get through the low points which we will all have, however much you're betting, £2, £5, £10s, £20s or bigger. Uh, in my view, if you're doing it right, you will have losing runs. You will have moments where it feels like nothing's going right and the sport isn't much fun at all. So it's important, one, yes, not to be greedy and have you know proper betting banks and start small so you're betting something you can afford to lose. But underpinning that, for me, is a kind of an enjoyment and an engagement and an attachment to the sport. Um, I've kind of touched on that third bullet point already, the importance of starting small and building up. Um, and if you... Hopefully some of you watching this uh, will want to give my members club winter season ticket a go. That's an important lesson um, because it, well, an important place to start, I should say, because it makes your experience of what follows much more enjoyable, especially during uh, the low moments. And I'm not going to kind of sit here um, and bullshit you, certainly having gone through that experience I did when I was 18 um, and make out that this game is roses all of the time and it's all about winnings and quick wins are easy because clearly um, it's not uh, and it's important not to have that mindset but to have a longer term mindset and I'll touch on the value element. Um, this took me a while to get uh, and you know, I'll, I'll suppose I'll say this uh, point here. Um, it's a mathematical reality that the win, that to win long term on horses, uh, you need to back horses which have a better chance than the market implies. And I'm not going to go into loads of detail on that. Um, I'm a history and politics graduate. My maths brain is okay. It could be a lot better. Um, but for the recreational punter, um, which I include myself in that, I certainly believe that you do not need to be Einstein or some other clever. Uh, maths bod in order to make this game enjoyable and profitable over time but we all need to be trying to back horses a bigger price uh, than the than uh, the market implies um, is their chance so uh, yes backing horses which have a better chance than the market implies that's important um, but I'm not going to dwell on that anymore but that's an important lesson to take forward I think um, and of course it's easier said than done um, and that uh, point there, that final point on this slide, is I suppose what makes this game so intriguing and so difficult over time. Um, so that's I suppose a long-winded introduction, I've got no idea how long I've been chatting for there, but hopefully you're still with me um, when we get on to some putting some meat on the bones. What is my members club? Number one, slide number one. Um, well it's a different way to experience racing. Uh, I suppose I can explain it as best I can on a slide like this and a video like this, um, but until you dive in and try and experience it, um, it is hard to bring to life. But I would say it's personable. Um, I suppose saying it's, I'm not going to say it's built in my image, that's a bit, uh, well, that'd be a bit um, wrong to say, I think. But um, I try to be me through my members club. Uh, I do try to make it personable, um, enjoyable, entertaining, uh, humorous and self-deprecating at times uh, and to create a space where all of my fellow members, uh, many of them have been with me since the Members Club started a couple of years ago, uh, feel comfortable um, and it's a place where opinions can be shared, polite views can be aired and debate can be had and also tips and various other different things. Um, it's informative. Uh, I'll get on to the core bit of that, I suppose, but my approach, a lot of it is around stats and information, Unique, uh, the unique approach I take to researching horse racing um, to provide you with something that you can get stuck into. I'd like to think it's engaging. I'd like to think it's fun. Um, profit, that's important. I'll get on to that in a, uh, in a short little while, but what I do is a kind of mix of 
uh, systems and strategies that are kind of uh, off the shelf that I've uh, researched and tested live and many of them have been in live play with my members and myself backing them for kind of a year or more um, and there's also my big race tips there's some daily tips uh, there's information that you can use in any way you uh, feel necessary but importantly for the recreational punk, the starting betting £2.50 and £5 moving up to maybe 10 or 20 in time, um, they're very, very profitable and allow you uh, to get something out of your racing and betting moving forwards. Um, I'm, a, I'm big into choice. Uh, and when I say that, the kind of the powers in your hands, what I mean by that, I suppose the best way to describe it is for me, the best winner you can back is one that you've picked out yourself, whether that's using information from you know, something that I provided, hopefully within my members club, um, whether or not it's having the disciplines to back a system and stick with it over time. Uh, and like I said, to use information, those can be the best winners you back when you know you've put quite a lot of your own effort in. I think they're always the most satisfying. I think that portfolio idea, taking that approach to horse racing is important. When I had that bad experience of just following tips um, in that first year uh, when I was 18, it's enjoyable. Well, it's not enjoyable to perform when you're losing that way. When you when you have a winning tipping service, and there's so many good ones out there, um, that can be uh, enjoyable. But it still lacks something, which is why I think a portfolio is important. Following systems, you can follow other people's tips, mine, uh, other members, whatever. But also, if you want to, creating that space where you can make your own decisions and get fulfillment that way. I think that's personally important. You might think uh, that's a load of nonsense, but there we go. Um, and the community. Uh, racing and horse racing can be a lonely sport at times. It can be a lonely place. Um, I don't have any immediate relatives or friends or family or anyone really who uh, quite likes a sport like I do. Um, I have some friends now uh, that I've met through racing, but not through when I was growing up or university or whatever. Um, so I've wanted to create a community where we feel like we're enjoying the sport together. Uh, we're all trying to win over time. We're all trying to help each other out. Um, to beat the bookies long term, which of course is always the main aim. Um, but to have lots of fun and enjoyment on those steps daily, uh, kind of on that longer road uh, to profitable glory. Um, so that's what is my members club number one. What's the members club number two in practice? So that's, I suppose, kind of the theory and some of the things underpinning it, uh, everything I've said up to this point. Um, my members club and the winter season ticket, you get full access to the members club, which consists of a daily members post um, every day, seven days a week. Uh, it's kind of split into four sections. The first section are the qualifiers against my trainer track profiles reports. Uh, hopefully you've grabbed, you're watching this and you've grabbed the freebie uh, that I gave away the other day. Um, but you can feel free to email me if you didn't uh, and I can send it your way. Um, or maybe I'll send it out again at some future point. Um, but they're the track, the trainer track stats, I suppose. Uh, and I post the qualifiers for those every day. Uh, the evening before, normally by 6 p.m. before the next day's racing. Um, and that's the core, I suppose, and that's the systematic element uh, that you get every single day. From there, I use those and have done to research systematic ways in. They're not profitable just to back all the qualifiers against those stats pack, and they're not researched and designed to be that way. Um, I have a few strategies. as four main ones for the jumps, uh, which I will introduce you to if uh, I'm so lucky to welcome you in um, as a member very, very shortly. Uh, but the four main ones on just the jump season are 220 points up in 2018 to date. Uh, over half of that is the two of the bigger odds strategies, which you can back to Betfair's starting price, uh, which is good. You don't need to worry about having bookmakers accounts. Uh, the rest of it is made up of some other systems, which are kind of well, they do find bigger odds horses, but they're generally kind of uh, shorter losing runs. You back more winners. Um, but in any case, that simple portfolio of four has won 222 points so far in 2018, which is a decent amount. Multiply that by your betting state times five times £2.50 or whatever. That's probably the level I'd start at. Um, so you've got that stats content. Now, 
Yes, you can follow the systems. Some of my members uh, pick which ones they like to follow. I do a monthly results update. Um, and actually, if you join today on Tuesday, you'll see at the bottom of today's members post is actually a discussion um, as I've kind of done a results update for November and the year to date. Um, but yes, you can also use or any of the content as starting points in order to find your own bets and as ways in, um, which I think is an important element as well as touched on before. Uh, there's tips. Now, I'm mainly pretty good good or have been historically uh, touch wood again in big races kind of jumps races class two grade three and above uh, those are 150 points in profit for the year mainly all one point win bets uh, from around 140 bets so we've been doing okay the return on investment there is a bit silly um, also I've, I've put in the free post because they're mainly big uh, field handicap chases so even if you get to the end of this video and you're like Josh no thanks um, which you know in reality will be some of you sadly for me um, there are the free posts and I do a lot of uh, reviews and previews I should say of big uh, marathon chases mainly class 2 grade 3 um, and they're 53 points up this year from about 110 point outlay again so that's doing okay so those two combined um, you know that's a decent portfolio we're building there of kind of 225 points or so uh, just from those kind of two approaches um, then there's some other elements I like I said I I love the sport. I like researching and sticking my head in horse race base um, and researching angles and strategies and various different things. Um, there's the test zone. Uh, that's 112 points up for the qualifiers in that in jumps to the year to date. Uh, I don't recommend necessarily backing any of them systematically, but again, it's about information. They're different. They're non-track based angles. They're generally trainer based. Some are jockey based. Um, but again, that's about taking time and maybe you want to use some of those as starting points if you so wish, or you can just ignore them um, or see how they develop over time. There are trends and reports. I do a lot of trends work, uh, mainly what well, I try and do during the jump season, one or two big races uh, every week, depending on what's coming up. Uh, I also do a lot of work on the festivals and particularly the Cheltenham Festival where I have uh, so far in the last three or four years uh, quite a good record I focus on the 10 big handicaps three or four other races over three miles or further last year we pulled in uh, quite a lot of pop profit with five very good winners um, kind of 9, 12s, 28s and 50 to 1 of the Albert Bartlett which was fun uh, the second 50 to 1 winner I'll add uh, I've posted on the blog in the Albert Bartlett since 2014 um, so the trends for that particular race work quite well uh, there's through the cards uh, I suppose that gets to the personal bit again um, one of my members actually posted today as I uh, record this asking for some thoughts on Ludd on Wednesday because he's going racing I don't mind doing that um, I like to be, I like the, your experience to be interactive and, and kind of personal. And if you're going racing with friends or whatever and you want any thoughts from me um, or indeed other members like chipping in in the comments on some kind of through the card, I'm happy to do that time allowing. Um, and again, that general point which I keep touching on about starting points, about me providing unique information that I think you'll struggle, well, you would struggle to find most of it elsewhere, certainly in the way that I research and look at. Uh, racing and systems and micros and everything else um, starting points which you can use uh, moving forward so really that what we have there is a big portfolio um, which will allow you to enjoy and experience racing uh, in a way that I don't think you would have done before um, but now is your chance I suppose to put that to the test um, and to conclude whether I'm talking nonsense uh, or not um, I don't think I have um, but this is where you get to decide, I suppose. Um, so yes, there's a winter season ticket. Six months full access from when you join. So that's going to take you through um, to kind of May time, aren't we? Um, and beyond. Uh, you get a 60-day full money back guarantee. Um, so you've got nothing to lose. Now, I use ClickBank, uh, and I do that deliberately, actually, um, because... I know some of you won't have a clue who I was until a few days ago and you might be watching this for the first time not knowing um, who I am but ClickBank is a very well respected uh, kind of yeah merchant seller of all these different things but importantly yes you can process the payments through them 
uh, and you never have to speak to me or request a refund from me. You can do it all through ClickBank um, and your money is secured for 60 days. Um, so for whatever reason, if you don't like what I do, uh, if you don't think the members clubs for you, you can get a full refund. Of course, you can join initially and just paper trade, spend a few weeks feeling your way in, reading through everything, working out which approaches might suit your betting style and psychology, I suppose, um, and going from there. But you've got a full 60 days in a sense, in effect, uh, to road test and see um, the cost. Uh, I don't like doing big build-ups uh, and nonsense. I think I price what I do fairly, but again, uh, that's up for you to decide when you take a sneak peek inside. Um, it's 119 quid uh, plus the VAT, uh, the dreaded VAT. Uh, that is thanks to ClickBank, but I like to think of it, I suppose, as the fee or the uh, the amount you pay in order to get that 60-day money-back guarantee uh, and for your money to be safe, I suppose. A better way to think of it, of course, and yes, I suppose this is me doing uh, some marketing spiel, um, <laughs> is to think of it as around £4.95 per week over the six months. Um, and depending on which bit part of the country you're in, or depending on uh, what kind of beer you like to drink, that's a pint of beer or a cup of uh, quite expensive large coffee from uh, a Costa or a Starbucks or something like that. So when you think of it as £4.95 a week, uh, hopefully um, it sounds even more reasonable. Um, now, of course, I don't want you to miss out. There are only 200 spaces available. Um, I suppose that. Well, I'm not sure if that sounds a lot or not. I'm lucky to have had, since I started the Members Club, I started free blogging in 2013, um, uh, when I kind of had a, a, another job, I suppose, um, doing daily posts, doing race previews of mainly jumps, races, and various different things. And mainly the kind of uh, following I built up from that uh, were the initial uh, influx of members when I created the Members Club, which is something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to do a kind of daily offering of all those things that I've just discussed. Um, and a lot of my members joined in those early days. I should think, well, I, I don't say the number, the members' numbers to gloat or anything. Um, there's around 370 odd. I think around 280 of those have been with me for 16 months or longer. And I only say that because I like to think that's some evidence of uh, what I do is enjoyable to some um, and once they get stuck in if they love it they tend to stay and I'm hoping some of you watching this are going to join our merry uh, band of racing enthusiasts and join our racing to profit community um, so Josh where do I join I know that's what you're all thinking you're wanting to batter down the door um, I should just say actually on that last point um, as I'm trying to record this video uh, with no notes by those that are in front of me. And I'm trying to do this in one take. Um, yeah, the 200 spaces, they might go quickly, they might not. Um, I'd like to think they're going to fly off the door. But I've been, I've never done a kind of launch like this. You'll have, you'll have found out about me from emails from some of my friends uh, in the racing space. Um, I've never pushed the members club like that externally. Uh, those members I've got now have been from um, email lists I've built up over time, I suppose, and that initial following that I built up. Um, and I've been very conscious to make sure that what I have to offer you and the members club has have developed over the last two years is something you'll find enjoyable. Of course, I want to make sure that prices aren't affected and I've been careful to look at and I don't think uh, a couple of hundred more are going to make a difference actually, um, which is why it's kind of set at that number. So they might all go really quickly and that's why you should hit the join button below um, right now if you so please. Uh, if you've heard enough uh, and you're already excited about joining the Racing the Profit Members Club uh, and giving it a good go for at least 60 days and beyond, hopefully. Um, so what happens then? You hit the join button below. Um, that will take you to a sign-up form. It's pretty simple. Go redirect you back to my blog. Uh, you put your name in. You pick a username and password. All of the content, I should say, delivered via the blog. It's not an email service. I occasionally email out, but it's all delivered via the blog so you can access it at a time that suits you. There's a sign-up form. You click Next at the bottom of that. That takes you through ClickBank where you can see all the terms and conditions. Uh, you can enter your payment details. They'll email you a receipt. Um, 
and then you're all set. You'll get redirected back to the members club. And at that point, you can log in. You'll receive a welcome email where I go through and explain uh, kind of how, well, what the members club is in more depth, how you can attack the different bits, the different ideas, including those four kind of main starter strategies, I suppose. Uh, there's a welcome video which gives you a tour inside of the members club so you can get an idea of that. It is about taking your time. It goes back to that initial point about being patient uh, and giving it a good go because for me the best things uh, in life do need some attacking and some energy uh, but they do need patience and my members club is very different from anything you may have tried before uh, it's exciting it's profitable it's fun it's entertaining um, but I do urge you if you want a quick fix if you want a quick win what I do definitely won't be for you. But, 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 it sounds complicated, Josh. All these things you've been talking about, stats and systems and tips and everything else, is it complicated? No, I don't think it is. Um, initially, you might think, oh my goodness, what's going on here? But I promise you, I work very hard and I'm kind of all yours over email and comments to take you through to make sure that you are introduced to uh, the way of the world at Racing to Profit, I suppose, as best it can be. My approach can be as simple or as complex as you make it. Uh, there's those four systems. I post the content up the evening before. Um, you can look at kind of 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. the night before, and all the information is there uh, for the four systems uh, you want to attack if you get your head around what those strategies are. Um, that's phase one of the blog post. In the morning, I update every blog post in the morning around 8 a.m. with the generally available morning prices. They're the prices I use in order to help keep results as well as Betfair starting price for some of the strategies. Um, and at that point, all of the information is there and complete if you just want to wait for me um, to make the final updates to the blog post. So it kind of 8, 8.30 uh, a.m. in the morning, you can just look, you can look at the four strategies you're following, note which ones are what, and just back them if you so wish. Uh, the same with any big race tips um, and any tipping content and members that you might start to follow because some of them are very profitable and I might touch on that in a moment. Um, but it can be as simple or as complex as you wish uh, to make it. So like I said, you can just follow the systems, you can just follow the big race tips. That is five minutes effort a day, if that, once you've got and worked out what you want to follow. Um, there's information as starting points as touched on, so this is where it gets complex. If you want it to be complex, you can use all the information if you've got time and you like studying, you can use all my stats pointers and qualifiers or ones you want to follow in particular uh, as ways in to help with your own analysis of horse racing and kind of attack it that way. Um, some of my members think of it as a magazine subscription. I do do videos, I do a lot of writing. There's a lot of chat, there's a lot, I know a lot of my members just like flicking through the comments every day. On a standard blog post, there can be at times on busy days, 20, 30, 40 comments without me even kind of saying hello and responding to different questions, etc. Um, there's always something to flick through and read that's interesting and might get you thinking uh, and enjoying horse racing even more than you do so now, hopefully, because that's my job. Um, engage in the community. Like I said, there's a big community of um, racing to profit members. There's a core uh, who comment and post regularly. Some of them are very, very good tips. There's one in particular is nearly 500 points profit for 2018, tipping one point each way, averaging two to three tips a day, just mad. Um, he sets the standard, he sets the bar. Uh, I'm grateful that he and a few others uh, are so generous with their time in just posting in the comments in my members club. So in time, you might follow some of those. Um, there's, uh, yeah, Chase, uh, that's meant to say chat. Uh, I think that's a typo down. I told you I'm recording this live. I'm not gonna go back and change all that um, because what you see is what you get. That's meant to say chat. You get lots of chat in the members area. Um, testing ideas, different members doing different things and you might fancy yourself as a tipster or have different systems you're running and all comments and such feedback and chipping in is welcome. That community, I think, is what helps make my members club what it is. Um, but do you need loads of time every day? And I'm like, no, like I said before, uh, how it works in practice, um, you can get away with just five minutes a day if you just want to dip in, back the systems you're following, back the tips you're following, uh, and you can leave it there if you wish, but if you have more time, you can indulge as much as you want. How much will you win? Um, well, I'm not gonna qual uh kind of promise quick fixes. I'm not going to promise you're going to win loads of money. Um, 
like I said, I think uh, having learnt my own way the hard way uh, all those years ago, um, start betting small, £2, £2.50, £5 bets. We need to be realistic here. You have to bet an amount of money you're happy to lose um, because that's the only way you can actually enjoy something longer term and get through any losing runs, which we all have. Um, but as an example, those four main strategies are 222 points up or so. Uh, my members' big race tips are 150 points up. Betting five pounds win on all of those things is £1,860 profit uh, so far this year. Um, and that's a decent enough return to £5 bets and clearly more than covers your £4.95 a week, your pint, your large cup of expensive coffee off the high street um, and leaves you plenty left over to spend on the luxuries and the things that you like enjoying. But I'm not going to promise because I'm not going to promise we're going to repeat uh, that again over the next year. But I'll be working bloody hard to make sure we do because that is what you pay me for. Um, what if you don't enjoy it? Surely not. I mean, you've fallen off my seat in shock. Um, some of you will try it and you won't enjoy it. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Um, many of you watching this are going to give it a go and absolutely love it. And I know you're going to be members with me for as long as I'm blogging about horse racing, uh, which will be very very long time into the future indeed hopefully um, but like I said please give it a chance but you have a full 60 days to test prod settle on an approach uh, engage in the chat treat it as a magazine subscription engage in the community do whatever you please and I'm there every step of the way to help you on that journey so you've got that 60 days uh, where your money is safe and like I said you can well you could paper trade for 60 days if you so wished and you had that amount of patience although I don't think any of us uh, quite do that but start betting small set aside an amount of money you have to lose and go from there um, so, okay, let me in. I hope you're as excited as I sound at this point in time. You remember, probably about half an hour ago, I said this would be a short video. Um, clearly, I was kidding myself again, so I apologise. Uh, but there was quite a lot to get through there, I suppose. And I hope you found it useful. And I hope the time has flown by. Um, so, yes, you can sign up with the link below, the big Join Now button below this video. Uh, there's also a few quotes from some of my members that have had a very good time to date. So you can read the experience and thoughts of real people who have been in my members club for quite a length of time. Um, and hopefully they will uh, encourage you to join uh, if I haven't done so at this moment in time. Um, I can't wait to welcome you in uh, to our community of racing fans. It's such a fun and profitable way to enjoy racing, mainly for the recreational punters. Well, I should say certainly for the recreational punters, starting small and building up over time. I know you won't regret it. Um, remember, you've got nothing to lose, so don't regret not giving it a go. Uh, and well, as I've put there, we all need to treat ourselves to a Christmas gift every now and then. Um, so this can be your Christmas present to yourself. Um, the winter season ticket, taking you all the way through the jump season, all the way through the spring festivals, and you get my unique approach to Cheltenham, Aintree, Punchestown, later on in the year, Galway. We then move into the flat season, but we've got the jump season, which is proper racing, uh, to thoroughly get involved before then. We also have summer jumps ahead. I like doing quite a bit with that as well. Um, so you've got all those things. Hopefully you've kind of got an idea of what goes on in the members club. Um, and I should, I suppose, say thanks for watching, so I'll end up talking uh, forever and ever. Uh, as is my want sometimes. Um, I hope you found that video useful, enjoyable. Um, you can hit the join now button below. Uh, do head over to the blog if you want and post a comment or say hello or do whatever. Um, if you've got any questions, like I said, yeah, post a comment on the blog or do email me at that email address there, info at racingtoprofit.co.uk. Um, but Yes, I should leave it there, really. Uh, but all I can say is thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're in, as enthused and as excited about my members club and this opportunity as uh, I hope I've come across. Um, it is a great way uh, to enjoy your horse racing. Um, it is different to anything you'll have experienced before, which is why I urge you to give it a go and take full advantage of that 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. And I hope uh, to see some of you, many of you, on the inside very soon. But if not, 
thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this journey don't forget there's plenty of free quality free content on the blog uh most days certainly most weekends during the jump season there's plenty of stuff to get stuck into um, but i hope uh, many of you uh, will give my special winter season ticket offer a go and it will be transformative in the way that it has uh, for many of my current members so with that said i hope to see you watching this video right now i hope to see you on the inside very very soon click that join now button below uh, you won't regret it and it's the start of a new racing journey this is josh saying thanks for watching and bye for